I uh, just got home from an adventurous day in the land of Toira, and uh, I'd also like to point out that my glasses got fixed. They no longer have a big scratch right ac across the middle, so they'll probably work a lot better now, to say the very least. And the camera glare will also follow me everywhere as well. But anyway, um, so I finally got a package today that I was really excited about because why wouldn't I be excited about a random package to my house? So we're gonna open it up. We're gonna open it up. It's very exciting. Uh, yeah, the box basically came like this. I'll pretend that I'm actually unboxing it. So, ah! Okay, so I open it to this beautiful, this beautiful bubble wrap creation. And, uh, they did such a good job packaging it. I wrote on my thing, like, please handle with care and package nicely, because it was going all the way from Ontario to my house, which I should probably not put my address on the interwebs. Feels great. Feels amazing. Oh, yeah. Okay. 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 Here's the exciting part, guys. I think that still has my address on it. I'll just kind of omit that part. Ooh. Put the receipt inside? I mean, I guess that's good, but what if I never wanted to open this? Then they just put their freaking receipt inside. Whatever. Other than that, it's pretty great. Probably end up opening this and reading it actually. So this is this is backwards. <laughs> no, this is a comic called Baby Teeth. It is by Donnie Cates and Gary Brown. I can't remember how I saw this. I think I was looking for my other comics on a. Web, a bunch of websites that I had never used before because I was trying to figure out the best method to ship to Canada because people take forever to ship things to Canada <laughs> but yeah so that's um, got something to do with demons and babies as you can see it's like a pregnancy tester <laughs> so this is the real shit right here So excited. So, um, this should be the first one, yes. So, this is Jean Grey. There's a new Jean Grey series, and I'm really excited about it. And I want to read as much as I can, especially if I like it. I'll make another video, most likely, about how these comics are. Just thought it'd be fun to do a little unboxing with you guys. Unbox my new comics. Um, so yeah, here we have the second one. This cover is pretty awesome. I like her, I'm digging her costume in this one especially. It's kind of hard to show you without the glare. But there you have it. Here's the third one, which was harder to find than the other two, or the first two for some reason, but it's pretty sweet. So this one is Astonishing X-Men number one. It looks like it was done by all of these people. Um, it says the date for this is, yeah, August 19th, 
I'm really digging the cover for this one. I'm not gonna lie, I mostly got this because it has Raven on the cover. So pretty hyped about that. That's Astonishing X-Men number one. And I got number two, cause look at this fucking cover. That is fucking great. They're sitting in a movie theater and they're like zombified versions of themselves. So that's <laughs> pretty amazing. I don't know why, but I thought this one was like the Halloween a Halloween one. I thought it wouldn't come out to Halloween, so I'm pretty excited that I have this already. I think there is a, gonna be a Halloween one, but we have to wait and see. And this one I also found when I was looking and browsing through the Astonishing X-Men. This is one of the older runs of Astonishing X-Men. I can't remember what year this was from. It says it's by Liu, Walta, and Peter. So this is an older Astonishing X-Men, number 64. I don't think it's super old, but anyway, it has Raven on the cover. And she's like crushing Wolverine or something with this lance. It's really icy. Oh, and that's the there's the Statue of Liberty in the background, so that's pretty. Yeah. Really, really awesome covers. I'm really digging these covers. So, I think that's it. Yeah, so that was my unboxing. I was really excited about my comic book, so just wanted to do a little thing. And uh, I don't know when the next time is. Honestly, that I'll order. I might order from someone closer to here that isn't in Ontario because <laughs> it'd be a lot faster. Um, but yeah, I'll try to make a new video on either some of- yeah, definitely some of those comics, like probably- what was it called? Baby Teeth? Baby Teeth, I would like to do a video on, especially if it's good. And, um, some of my older comics that I got in that I still haven't talked to you guys about. Um, cause I really liked my first pick listed video that was super awkward and I did a long time ago. But it'll be, uh good practice both for my writing if they're scripted I'm in a writing course now and um, just uh, getting more comfortable doing videos every now and then so yeah shout outs to Drinia by the way because she is always doing videos on um... <laughs> I think it's yeah vid me vid me um yeah shout outs to Drin Chan on VidMe. She's making VidMe happen, everybody. So don't forget to go check out her site where she has awesome vlogs and oh, she's got some some gameplay on there as well now. So she has some Moero Chronicle. <laughs> yeah, you know you want to watch that. And uh, some great awesome interviews with uh, one of her streamer friends, Erica. So I'll definitely have to finish listening to that because the beginning of it was hilarious. She's also got um, speed paints on there. So yeah, go check her out. I'll drop a link in probably over the video and in the description, all that good stuff. Other than that, have a safe day, which means no watching the Death Note live action version from Netflix. Don't do it. Just don't do it. Don't do it. Uh, please let me know which comics you guys are reading or looking forward to in the near future. If there's any series you would really like to see happen um, between your favorite characters or one of your favorite series you'd like to be brought back. Um, but yeah, thanks for your time and thanks for watching.